<laughs> Today's rabbit tip is being distracted by having a large bird sitting here next to me. <laughs> Try to ignore that guy. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> Today's rabbit tip, I'm going to teach you guys about the yes-no parameter that you can add into families to give it a ton more power. All right, so we'll go there quickly. I don't think this is going to take too long of a tip. So here we go. I'm going to share my screen and we'll go from there. All right, so here we are in Reddit. And what I want to show you guys, I took the time, I went ahead and took the time to um, put a couple things in here for you guys. Okay, so yes, no feature. Okay. And what I'm talking about is the feature of an object to be able to be turned on or off in your project. So we're going to go just la la la, see if I can remember the ones I've done. Okay, let's suppose you have in a door, you've got the on off feature of the knob. Boop. Okay, there it is. Did you guys see that? That knob right there just popped in. I can turn it on, I can turn it off. It's a check box away. See over here, it says knob off, unchecked. And it goes off and you check the box and it goes on. That's only one example, okay? Let's go a little bit further. Let's say you got a window. <clears throat> hey, there's a window and maybe, look at this, six panels. I'm gonna, I'm gonna widen this so you can see what it says. Okay, look at this, six panels at the bottom pane or nine panels at the bottom pane. Well, nine panels, I'm gonna count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But look, if I check that box and uncheck that one, look, six panels at the bottom pane, bam. So do you see where the yes, no feature's coming in yet? No, so I'll do some more. Here's one, here's a window, look at this. Sill, check the box, what happens? Bing, we've got a sill. I need to pin that ground plane just for a second. Pin objects, okay? And tell the, um, tell the program not to pin it, okay? That not to pick it. Okay, here's a little table. Okay, it, it, this is another example right here. Look, at, see this table right here? Okay, look what I've got. Chairs on the four sides is checked. That looks cool, but look at this. I can say four facing chairs, bam. You can, you can do this kind of stuff with the yes, no feature. Here, I'll do another one over here. I put, like I said, I put a couple things out here so you can see it. Okay, example number 75. Um, here's a base cabinet. I click on, do you guys notice that the, the um, poles are horizontal and the, the ones on the lower cabinet are vertical? Well, what if you wanted those all horizontal? I can click on it, okay? It is embedded right here. Mm -hmm. There we go, look. Drawer pulls on or off. Horizontal handles on and the vertical ones off. So, bam, look at that, see? <laughs> Boom, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. Lastly, you see this countertop? Well, what if it doesn't have a backsplash? I'll uncheck the box, boop, gone, see? These are the kind of things that we're talking about, and that's what I'm going to teach you how to do right now in Reddit. Okay, <clears throat> we're gonna do the world's simplest ob object. I'm gonna show you how to create that parameter in the family and then how to use it in the family. This could be anything, anything. Think outside the box, any family that you have objects that are can be turned on or off. Perfect example is a chair, a piece of furniture. Let's suppose you can buy this chair from the manufacturer with or without the arms, the side arms. So you can have that as a toggle to turn those off. So, all right, so here we go. I am going to say file, and I'm gonna click on new families. We're just gonna make a generic family to show how this whole thing works, okay? So I'm gonna come down to generic model right there, generic model. I'm just gonna open it. What's gonna open is the template for a generic model and 
on this particular template, when it opens, you're looking top down on it. So this is our object we're looking top down on, okay? And I can even go to 3D inside this little family. What I'm gonna do is put three extrusions, okay? I'm gonna put three little extrusions. I like, I'm gonna go back to the top down. <laughs> three extrusions. Uh, let me just show you. I'm going to put one extrusion right there, okay? And I'm going to say it's one foot tall, okay? Bam. And then I'm gonna put another extrusion, wait for it, extrusion right next to it, okay? And this one is gonna be four foot tall, okay? Simple enough. And I'm gonna put another extrusion in. This could be anything, but I'm using boxes just to prove a point. This third one is going to be eight foot tall. Whoa, eight foot tall. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go into 3D now and we're gonna look at it. There they are, beautiful. These, uh, work with me guys, these represent something in your family that needs to have the ability to turn on and off, okay? Now, after you have the objects built, or maybe you've downloaded a family off the internet and you want to make parts and pieces of it turn on and off, okay? You got to come up with a parameter and then you assign that parameter to the object. Make sense? So you have to be crafty when you come up with the name of the parameter. The parameter would be named the same thing as what it is, kind of like if you've got the trim around something that has the ability to turn off, you would call the parameter trim. Um, if this is the knob that turns on or off, you would call this parameter knob. Okay, you get, you get with me? If it is panic hardware that turns on and off, just call it panic hardware because it's just an on off switch. And so it needs to be named what it is. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go over here to this little box over there, over here in the top left. Yes, it's called family types, but it's the icon that looks like it has four little ice cubes. So you click on that, okay? And then it's conveniently hidden behind my head. There we go. All right, enough of that. All right, see, I don't have very many parameters in this project yet, mm -hmm, this family. What I'm gonna do is down here at the bottom, it says create a new parameter. Well, it just says new parameter, it doesn't say create but new parameter, you click that box, okay? The parameter that I want is what it is. So I'm just gonna call this one small box, okay, with me, small box. And I'm gonna make it an instance parameter. We can go into type parameters and instance parameters some other day, but right now, I'm just gonna make it an instance parameter. So each of these families has the ability to turn the small box on and off, okay? Here we go, instance parameter, small box. and Right here, you gotta quickly, before you hit okay, it's not a parameter of length. It is a, you click right there, it's a parameter of, and you scroll down, there it is at the bottom. Yes, no. It's actually the third thing from the bottom, but that's close enough. Click on it, yes, no. So make sure it's under yes, no. Now I'm gonna say okay, okay? So we've got a parameter called small box. Good, we're gonna make two more parameters. Two more parameters. Okay, here we go. Small box. I'm going to make a new parameter. This one's gonna call medium box. Oh, instance parameter, yes, no parameter. While I'm here, I'm gonna make the other one. Large box, tall box, whatever. Small, medium, large, just call large. So it fits the, the paradigm that we're doing here. Large box, instance parameter, and it's a yes, no parameter, done. So look. We've got small, medium, large, okay? And we say, check, okay. Now, just one quick thing. You see how these are checked? Check, check, check. That means the object is on by default when there's a checkbox next to it. If I uncheck the small box, when I place this family, the small box will be off by default and I would have to turn it on. I'm just gonna leave them all on for now, but I'm just letting you know what those boxes, the values of those boxes mean. I'm gonna say, okay, so here we go. Now that I've got three parameters, I need to assign each of those to the object. And all, here's how you do it. I mean, this is so fast, I can't believe I'm even teaching it. Ready, here we go. You click 
the small box, which means you click the object, okay? You click the object that you want to apply your parameter to, small box, and over in the parameters and the properties, I mean, you'll notice the word visible. Follow it across, you verify what its default is on, checkbox, and you follow further, further, all the way to the end. You guys with me? I'm gonna go nice and slow. All the way to the end, there's a button over there. That little button at the end of that line means click here to apply a parameter to this object. Okay, that's what that little box means. So we're gonna go there, we're gonna click on that. And we are going to associate a parameter with an object. And so which parameter? The small box. I say, okay. And I do that for the other two and we're done. I'm gonna click the medium box. I go over to visible. Verify that it's on by default. Click the little box at the far right. Associate that with medium box and hit okay. You guys are with me. It's, it's getting so boring. Oh, it's getting boring now. Ah, she's doing three of these in a row. Okay, select the large box, follow visible over, check the little box at the end, and large box association. Okay, okay, this is done. We're gonna save this. I'm gonna save it onto my desktop. Save, because this is a family. I'm gonna save it, I'm gonna call it three sweet boxes for lack of a better name. I'm gonna put it on my desktop and I'm gonna hit save. Okay, now I'm gonna load it into my project. Wait for it, load it in the project and it's in my project, whoa. Okay, go back to 3D, okay. So I wanna put, <coughs> I wanna put the boxes right here on the ground in front of these other objects that are sitting here. So here we go, if I go to component, the last thing I just loaded is the component that it suggests, okay? Three box, three sweet boxes, okay? And I'm gonna put them right here, okay? I'm gonna try to put them right in front of me. Bam, there they are. You guys see those three boxes just pop in like magic? Okay, here goes. When I highlight it, you can look over in the properties and you'll see three parameters near the bottom. The small box is on. The medium box is on and the large box is on. That is because we set that at the default. If I want to turn any one of those off, I can just uncheck it. Like I'm going to uncheck medium box. Bam, bam, bam. Did you see that? It went off. I can highlight it, turn off the large box. So now we've got a small box sitting there. These could have been stacked on top of each other. They could have been in any possible arrangement, but I just had them in a row. Now, be careful when you click and uncheck the next one because it makes it really, really hard to find this thing after you've turned everything off. So, while it's still highlighted, <laughs> while it's still highlighted, I'm gonna turn the large box on, the medium box on, and the small box on. Okay, you can find those things <laughs> in you can turn them on. You can go into your properties. In fact, I'll just do it one time for you if you lose it. Like if it's gone, you're like, no, where to go? Okay, watch. I'm gonna highlight this thing. And if I turn all three of those off, doo, 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 that's how you turn them off, and they're gone. And I uncheck it and I go do something else, la la la. It's gone, you can't find it to turn them back on. And it's there somewhere, but you can't pick it. You can't pick it because it's not really there. I mean, it's like off. Do not fear, stand by. You can just go over to your families. You go down to generic families and expand it. Wait for it. Generic families, not furniture. Generic families, there they are, expand it. And you'll find one called, wait, where is it? Three sweet boxes, <laughs> right there, okay? And I can click on this little family here and I can right click and say, select all the instances in my entire project. And it picked it and <laughs> yeah, okay. Now that I've picked it, that's great and all. There they are, large, medium, small, back on. 
and we're back in action. It's hard finding those things. <laughs> in my humble opinion, you should use this. <clears throat> I'm going to come back to you here. In my humble opinion, you should use this to turn on parts of your family, not the entire thing, okay? So that you would lose it. But that last little bit was how you can find it again, how to turn them something back on so you can find it. Typically, it'll be a part of an object that you can turn off or turn on and you won't lose the whole thing. Anyway, I hope that helps you guys. That yes, no parameter is a powerful parameter and you guys can use it on any family that has an object as part of it that you need to toggle on or off. And I set all mine to instance parameters, but you could very easily set them to type parameters. All right, I hope that helps. Have yourself a fantastic day in Revit and watch out for huge birds sitting near your shoulders. All right, until we meet again, have a great day. Bye-bye.